Oh, I already typed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's real funny, because we could hear it here. Oh, gee. He played the song Digimon. All right, so look, Big Max Falcon was, <coughs> it's actually a legitimate secondary. I didn't want to believe it or admit it. It took me like a year to be like, all right, that's a thing. But right now, that's all over with. We got, I think you know, this is the last match of Winner's Quarters. We got Earl of M, who starting out real poor with a suicide there, getting gimped off of a Firefox against Snoofle. Snoofles. Uh, and Earl of M, actually, the reason I wanted to commentate this set, he's one of the more up-and-comers in Chicago. He doesn't get as much stream time from what I've seen, just the one that break the bracket has shook out, but he's been putting up some real solid results lately. He's got a Lucina, he's got a Ryu, he's got a Cloud playing Lucina for this particular matchup. Had his Cloud a little bit earlier on screen, which some of you saw against Walrus, yeah. where he completed a real nasty comeback after losing game one. But now, in this situation, it looks like he might have to do the same against Snowfall. Man, hey, you know, no game is, is unwinnable, but Snoofle is, is kind of bodying right now. Yeah, nah, it's over. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Yeah, when you suicide at 2%, I guess, in your head. He was ahead. He got the first 50% and just died when he was off stage. Right. So, both these guys, I think, listening. No, never mind. Snoofle doesn't listen to music. I actually couldn't tell who was who because the back <laughs> of their heads look so similar. Oh, good. And, and, and like where I'm sitting. All right. I couldn't tell who was who. I had to get my head right. I thought you just said that as a general statement. Snoofle does not listen to music. Like, that yeah, it had no, nothing just, to do with the match. Yeah, just, Snoofle's, oh, he doesn't, he doesn't listen to music. Facts. Why would he do that? Fun <laughs> fact, Snoofle's <laughs> never listened to music a day in his life. Oh, man. I'm still, still a little gone from that last set. That was real funny. <laughs> it just makes it, like, kind of makes it better that the stream couldn't hear it. Like, the actual song came on and we were singing along. Oh, wow. Yeah, you cannot, that was goofy. You cannot be out of that, but Snoop will follow you for doing it. Right. I mean, I think a lot of people just would have gotten hit by that. Snoop will just had the... I don't know why he held shield, to be honest with you. It seemed safe to let go. Oh, that was a good read with the shield break. Just couldn't quite get the full shield breaker. Snoop had had no reason to shield previous to that moment. But all of them keeping up after that kind of rough game one. Yeah, this game's looking a little bit more manageable. Even though Star Fox has his music playing for him. On widely regarded as the best stage in the game, Lilac Cruise. Game's a little bit even. I, uh, I played the fifth. You played the fifth? Oh, yeah. Big time. But these guys oh. struck there for a reason. That things are happening again. They're alive enough. All right, forward Whoa. smash gonna take the stock. He just had a lot of percent. He does not want to get caught down there again, though. No, not at all. But the up smash, after that down air, is gonna lock it up. We're back here locked at zero. I feel like Snoofle's movement gets better every week. Like, his decision making is fairly, it's good. He's always had good decision making, but it's kind of stayed the same. But his movement has just progressed to a point where like, he can kind of do what he wants. Yeah, complete control over the character. I think his, fundam his fundamentals are just good. Like, I mean, he can play every character in the game for some proficiency. I've played uh, lots of friendlies. He bodies me. He's very good. Yeah, just proficient at the game. And just Fox is who he happens to be the best player. Earl of N, though, as you were saying before, has a ton of characters in the back pocket. So both these two just fundamentally sound players. And it's fun to watch people like that go at it. Oh, yeah. Earl of M, it's nice to watch him, like, every ma every set, he just says, you know what, I don't think you're going to be as good against this character. I like this matchup with this character, and he just he sticks with it. He's not like, oh, it didn't work, I'm going to switch again. Yeah, he right. knows what he's doing, he comes in with a game plan and just goes with it. Snoofle missing that up smash that would have put the set away, giving Earl of M some, some life, but uh, that up B goes through the stage and coming down on landing, I don't think he meant to do that, oh, wait, and Snoof that gets was... the free up smash. That was game two. Yeah, that already is over. Remember that first game with that unfortunate suicide? <laughs> yep, that was that was two games oh. that all that happened. Woo! That was fast. These, these guys played fast. That was excellent. What a what a quick little smile from Snoofle there. You what mean another Snoofle face for the archive? Yes. <laughs>